So let's take a look at different types of opt-in forms, opt-in pages that you could use and kind of model your business after to collect your own opt-ins and to build your own email list. Now, there are essentially three types of opt-in email mechanisms or main ones. You can have a full-on landing page, what people call a squeeze page, where the page's sole purpose is to get the opt-in. You can have a sidebar opt-in, so if you have a blog, down the right hand side, you can have basically a small email form and you know, kind of like, hey, get my free email newsletter and 12 tips on how to not die when you go camping. I don't know why I love making fun of that example, but you can you know, have something like that or tips for real estate investing or whatever, but you can have it on the sidebar. And of course you don't have as much real estate, so it's gonna be a small little form. So you can have a full page, the sidebar on a blog, or you can have a pop-up which is not necessarily a full browser pop-up window. You can do an HTML5. It's kind of a pop-over type of an HTML thing. So it looks like a pop-up, but it's not a separate window that your browser may block or not load. And I'll show you an example of that. But let's look at some examples. So here's one you may have already seen, uh, depending on uh, you know when you came to, to my site and when you ended up on, on my list. But here is a basic page. Um, that I used and promoted during the recent promotion for Traffic Secrets itself and for the class and for membership. Basically, it's just a simple page here. It has a picture of me, so it's kind of a preview of the videos. Um, and it has some different bullets here talking about what you're gonna learn in the free video series. And then it basically says, get instant access to the first video now, put in your email address, and it has this call to action, watch the video now. So this is a very effective page. If you're wondering and guessing what the opt-in rates were for this, at least during our, our promotion that we did with affiliates, uh, was it 10% or maybe 25%? Could you, could you think that may have happened, that one out of every four people that landed on this page uh, opted into this list? Well, it might surprise you that some of our better affiliate promoted traffic, you know, the more someone pre-sells something, say, hey, go get this or check this out or check out the videos, you know, the higher the response rate will be. But this page actually produced on average with our top affiliates and from good qualified traffic, a 42% opt-in rate. So 42% of the people that landed on this page, almost half ended up giving their email address to watch the videos. So on kind of Poor traffic, it ranged anywhere from 15%, which is still pretty good, up to, you know, 30, 35%. But this is, you know, it's not a fancy, fancy page. It's just literally showing some thumbnails, previews of the videos, has some copy saying what it's about, has some kind of intriguing bullets there, as well as, as talking about some important things. And then just says, get instant access, give me your email address, and then click to watch the video now. So it's really pushing that they can watch the video right now. But this was a very effective page. And of course, you can model a page for your own business after this one, you know, kind of switch things up, put different thumbnails. You're more than welcome to borrow this and use it for your business. Now let's look at some other ones. So this is a pretty simple landing page for an, an opt-in email form. Basically, it doesn't even give a lot of information. It's uh, someone's just promoting their email list where they give social media tips. And so they, they use a little quote here. Yours is the only news that I actually read. It doesn't really say someone's name or who it's from. It might help if they did that. Uh, but it gives a basic description. Uh, join ranks of small business owners that want to generate leads from social media. Sign up here, get instant access. They put in their email, they click submit. That's it. So it's not a fancy a form or page. It's very simple. And sometimes simple can work well. Um, not sure how well this converts. I know some, some things that she could do to uh, improve it. Maybe have some bullets give more about what the content's about, um, maybe have some other photos, do some other things, but still, uh, that's, a, that's a form that I'm sure is working fine and getting people to join the list. Now this landing page here, it's a little bit more complex. So this is really trying to get not only the email address, but it's getting the first name, the last name, the company, a phone number, uh, and having someone fill in kind of a box saying what they're interested in. So it's like a mini sales letter really talking about, um, this is for like an SMS marketing service. So it has a few bullets here, increase your conversion rates by over 10% or 10 times. Uh, it talks about, you know, it shows some, kind of has these credibility boosters as they're called, where it shows featured clients and their logos. It has a quote uh, from someone else that's used it. So 
this is a landing page that's building a list, but it's really more of a lead generation type form because they're asking for more than email address. They're asking for first name, last name. Now, maybe you're wondering, hey, what should I ask for in my business? Should I only ask for email or should I ask for first name, last name, company phone? Well, here's how it works. Typically, the more information you ask for, the lower your results will be. So if you ask for first name, last name, and email, that's going to perform less typically than just email. If you then add phone number, that's going to lower the response even further. So the more you ask for, the less it converts. For most businesses, I recommend just go for the email address. It's all you need to do follow up. It's all you need typically in most businesses to do sales. Now, if you do phone sales where you, you sell something expensive where you need to call someone to really try to pitch them the thing, well, then you're going to need their phone number. But if not, just ask for the email address, in my opinion. The old customizing the emails where it's like, Dear Bob, thanks so much for wanting to you know, buy our real estate investing course where you can include their name, Bob, in different places because they gave your first name. It's proven to be not as effective as it used to be. That used to be that used to be magic. That used to really wow people, but not so much anymore. Now let's take a look at another landing page. This is you know very similar to one we just looked at, where it's asking for name and phone number as well as email address, and ask them to show their interest. You know, do they want are they interested in gold IRA rollover info or cash purchase of gold? So it's uh, obviously it's a kind of gold investing guide, and they have uh, a couple little tidbits here on what the content is about that they're going to share in this gold guide. Clearly, they're just building leads to then sell them gold of some sort, but um, they have a couple quotes on here about the company. They have those credibility booster logos. But this is kind of a really nice looking, uh, you know, type of a landing page here, which it's almost like a brochure, but really all it is is an opt in form. They're just you know, it's more of a lead gen form. They're just getting leads that they can then call and, and, and try to sell to and follow up with. But it's another example of a pretty solid landing page, which I'm sure does very, very well. And, you know, companies like this will spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a month on ads sometimes to drive people to a page like this. And they build their business around a page like this as the kind of main hub to where their marketing starts. So this stuff works and it works very, very well. This is that dog training site that I've referenced before. It basically has a video and then it also has a button that just says click here to get a free video. So it offers a free video and training if they opt in. So you can use a video to promote the opt in and to promote other videos. So there's no one right way or wrong way to do it. It's all worth testing for your business. If you have something that's visually demonstrating your business, you may want to have a preview video to then sell the opt in. A lot of times it can, you know, just kind of uh, hammer home your authority and your expertise and what your company is about by giving a preview video before you ask them to opt in. You know, I imagine as the internet evolves, it's going to be harder and harder to get people to opt in because just so many people want them to opt in. They're getting hit over the head with the squeeze pages and opt-in forms all over the place. So having a preview video where you're selling and really selling the opt-in is probably going to become commonplace in the future where everyone's going to have to do it. For now, you don't need to do it. You can still get good opt-in rates, but I imagine if you have a preview video, you can really increase your opt-in rates even more. Now, finally, this is an example of one of those popover type window things. So this is a popover opt-in form. Uh, this is on Double Your Dating. This is a dating advice site for men. I think they also do some stuff for women too. Uh, this is this site is uh, the business is from uh, Evan Pagan, which you may have heard of his name. He's a great internet marketer, and his kind of pen name for this business was David D'Angelo. But he's done some great marketing here. Here's a very simple uh, design here. You know, get my free report: ten most dangerous mistakes men make with women and how to avoid them. Has a few little bullets there of intrigue, and then just ask for the email address, and then just you know says send it to me for free. Now I know at one time uh, Evan's uh, automated sequence for this business was like over a year long preloaded and it promoted the front end product for this business which I think was like a $30 ebook on dating tips for men and it was successful you know, very very successful I think his business uh, from what I remember hearing this business got to over like 20 million dollars a year or, or just some huge number and it was just you know generating millions of visitors and the core goal was to get them to give the email address and then everything else revolved around uh, that email list. But I want to show you something. So this is kind of a popover window that's trying to get the opt-in. 
If we close this, here's the home page, which lists uh, different products they sell and articles and things. But notice the top of the home page there. This is the very top. You know, it's learn the secrets most men will never know about women in dating. It has a preview video here of Eben talking about, um, you know, about dating and things. And this is basically promoting. It's 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 positioned as a free membership, but it's basically just an opt-in, and it's promoting the same types of stuff that the popover promoted. Um, it's interesting how they've added the first name form along with the email here. I'm not sure what his thinking is behind that because the popover I just showed you only asked for email, but this one asks for first name. So not really sure why because you can see here, get the exclusive report, the 10 most dangerous mistakes men make with women. That's the same giveaway that was promised from the popover. So again, not sure why one asked for, for name and, and one uh, just email. But as you can see, it's just a very basic type of a uh, a cell for the opt-in. It's got some bullets, got some headlines, and a preview video. So you can kind of copy the same kind of model for your business uh, and have some good success just modeling after these successful companies uh, that have already built great opt-in forms or opt-in mechanisms for you to build your own opt-in list.